Good morning. I just woke up and I'm having coffee. I just started sipping my first cut, cup. Oh God, I can't even talk. Uh, I have a lot of information um, regarding Lolly, Aka, Donna. And um, a lot of people are repeating things and getting things twisted. Um... I'm not going to make this about me and all the horrible things that were said and done to me. You're already getting your karma, and you're going to continue to get your karma. Um, first things first, um, when somebody dies, um, you know, there is a death certificate. It is available online at least a month after the death. Okay, in the best of times in a very efficient county, it would probably be online in about a month. I don't know if you can view it for free or if you have to pay a fee to go on Vital Tech, but it would be at least a month. Now, Mississippi is the South. It's the deep South. We are also post-pandemic. Down there, there's a different uh, style of life than in New York, and they take their time, because if you really are family, you're going to have direct, and you need a copy of the death certificate, you're going to have direct copy, uh, not copy, con contact with the funeral home who can issue you one right on the spot. If you need, like, if you're a family, um, like, like when my parents died and, uh, my father died, rather, my grandmother died, um, if we needed a death certificate, like, in other words, the funeral home could issue one on the spot, like, if you needed, like, ten copies for whatever reason, like, um, if my sister and I requested time off from our jobs because our grandmother passed, you know, we had a copy to show our employer should they require it. Um, if we had to go to a bank to have an account closed out that was joint to have her name removed off of it, whatever, whatever. There are all these various reasons, but if you're not immediate family, if you're people like us from the outside looking in and you want to know, you have to wait, uh, number one, until the paperwork is done by some county clerk's office, and second of all, they have to upload it to their system. They're in no rush to do any of this because Lolly was on YouTube. Another thing, um, I briefly heard PDX, like three seconds, I don't even want to listen to it, saying something about, well, why isn't it on file? Well, I didn't hear the whole conversation. What well, Lolly, why does it say Donna? There is or was a real person. I don't know if it's doxing. Um, and she has definitely a alias i uh, i don't want to get myself in trouble there was a woman or is a woman named donna okay she married someone named ken and she um came up with an alias like how Pee Wee Herman. There really wasn't a man named Pee Wee Herman. There was a man named Paul Rubens who portrayed a character named Pee Wee Herman. So when Paul Rubens died, the death certificate didn't say Pee Wee Herman. It said Paul Rubens. Lolly trademarked her, her name. She, she put a trademark. She purchased at least two domains... One was Lollynet and one was something like Story Time, something or whatever. Um, there are more than one properties owned by either or or both um, Donna and her late husband Ken. Ken had a son, Ken Jr., that predeceased him. He passed in either 2004 or 2006 at the age of 28, and he had no children. Don't know if he was married. Okay? Um, Ken did not have a brother. Ken had a sister. I know her name and her location. And um, she is married and has, I believe, two children. Okay? I'm not giving out her name because I think it, it's crossing the line of maybe doxing. Okay. Donna Akalali has one sister she's been estranged from for quite some time. That sister never was married, doesn't have any children, 
and lives in the Northeast. That's all I'll say. Um, a few people, myself included, initially thought that maybe this character of Wally really was not Donna. I have a receipt that proves um, that that um, assumption wrong. Um, about nine or ten years ago, Lolly Cunningham went on Facebook and went on her Donna's sister's page and made a really nasty, rude comment to her. Um, and it's dated, so it's not like someone made it up and photoshopped it or whatever, whatever, okay? Accusing her sister of being a whore and a mistress to some mafia guy. So, nine years ago, the character of Lolly Cunningham was arguing with the sister of Donna. To me, that's enough proof, because nine years ago... Lolly Cunningham did not have a YouTube channel. So she was already using this persona with this picture that's allegedly a dead Russian model. And she has like the copyright to it or whatever. <clears throat> so if you want to know if Donna, and I know her middle name, her maiden name and her last name, but I'm not going to say it. If you want to know if Donna really passed away, you're going to have to wait one to six months to get the death certificate. Um, and that's assuming that she died in the state of Mississippi and in Harrison County, Mississippi. Now, here's another thing I'll throw out. It looks like um, either her or her husband or both of them owned one or two properties in Florida. I can say Pensacola. That's not doxing. How do we know? I also found out she has another alias of her middle name and her maiden name. And how do we know that she didn't have another identity, a legal identity, with the middle name and um, the maiden name and didn't abscond to Florida taking Bradley with her, her beloved dog, because she wouldn't leave the dog behind, and is doing it to evade prosecution. You see how that goes? Now, another thing. I've said this from the get-go, and there's probably no receipt of it. When I heard someone touch upon it, I didn't listen to it. Like, three seconds. <clears throat> the woman had money. She was not broke. She donated. She owned some real estate. But the way she was living, this was an older woman who was housebound in a wheelchair. Um, she was not a supermodel. She was not a millionaire. Her husband was a uh, retired military. Um, I think he might have had at least one civilian job. Uh, she was a, a nurse. I don't know. Although she was a registered nurse, I don't know how much she worked. Okay. She might have worked part-time for a year and just been a stay-home housewife, whatever. We don't know. But I do believe that um, she was drawing Social Security for herself because she was disabled. She might have been getting something a little early, like SSDI. She probably had a 401k or some sort of pension based on her own earnings or whatever. Um... <clears throat> Her late husband um, probably had a military pension, which she would be entitled to, and probably a um, civilian pension. So I believe that Lolly had a good fat pension. And I think she had some real estate, but was she as wealthy as people thought? No. She made donations to people but they weren't exorbitant amounts. I didn't see her donating $10,000 to the American Cancer Society. I didn't see her um, donating $50,000 to the Harrison County Animal Care and Control. I didn't see her doing any of that. So her uh, philanthropy was small. Um, I know what my income is. And I live in New York where it's a lot more money. And I know what I could afford. Her living in either Mississippi or Florida 
I'm sure her housing was a lot cheaper. Um, I have like other detailed ideas about what went on, but it's too much to put all in one um, video, audio, whatever. But neither one of them had um, a brother. They each had a sister. Uh, each one's sister is still alive. Um, her sister, no children. His sister, two kids. Kenneth's son predeceased him. Um, both of them had parents that predeceased them. Oh, another thing was the husband did not die in a fire in the driveway in the van. That was all a story. He died at home unexpectedly at the age of 71 during the height of the pandemic in a very highly contagious um, viral load state. I could put it that way. So my guess is, is he probably had the virus and, and passed away at home. Um, or possibly a heart attack or a stroke, unexpectedly. Um, what else? The, I mean, I have like, you know, like what happened to Bradley. I actually searched their um, animal care and control website looking for male dogs in Harrison County that were taken to the shelter up for adoption. There's not one named Bradley. I don't think the animal is being held hostage. I believe that um, if it's not with the caregiver, that um, the caregiver has passed the dog along to a good home. Um, and I believe that sooner or later, someone who's related by family will probably let an attorney um, disperse the estate um, whether there's a will or not. And I do believe that a certain man claiming to be like an heir or whatever, um, if you're going to get anything, it's not going to be much, and it's going to take you years. You might be dead by the time that stuff um, comes to fruition. And on a personal note, I do not retract what I said that was put up on the clip channel when Carl and I were on Jose's panel and that certain, and I'll use the word gentleman to be really, really nice. When you came on and started your crap, what I said at the time she was still alive. Well, it's funny about a week after I said it, it came true. And you know what? You're next. Anyway, everyone, have the day that you deserve. Bye.